Hi, it's Lynn Fruth. It's been a while since I visited with you. I have three things I wanted to share and I'll be brief. The first thing is how you can save hundreds of dollars. Second thing, how you can save thousands of dollars. And lastly, I want to share with you an award that one of our very own received earlier today. Let's start with how can you save hundreds of dollars. You can do this uh, by not stealing or lifting off of the internet any images or photographs. Dan Barry learned the hard way a couple weeks ago when we were notified by a New York Times photographer that we were displaying one of his photos that was copyrighted. So please, if you're going to take something off the internet, make sure that you have permission. We just received another request asking for compensation for the improper use of an image that was taken off of the internet. Secondly, how can you save thousands of dollars? We can do this by carefully guarding your financial information and the information of your clients. We hear in the news almost daily how people are filing fraudulent uh, income tax returns because someone hasn't guarded their social security number. We receive requests from what look like legitimate lenders and they're not legitimate lenders. The thieves out on the internet have gotten very crafty and creative and we have to be very vigilant in how we look at all these requests that are made. This is one reason why Danbury does not engage or participate in any wire transfers anymore because the huge risk of people getting into these funds and raiding the bank, so to speak. And lastly, and most excitedly, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Victoria Valle and our Briarfield office. Earlier today, Victoria was named one of the final four of Jefferson Award finalists for this region. This is an extremely prestigious award uh, given annually. And I want to tell you, Victoria is an outstanding representative uh, for our region. And I wanted to personally and publicly thank her. I find her and her efforts to be inspiring. And I think uh, she's uh, it couldn't be a better representative in the marketplace for this company. And I would ask all of you, the next time you see Victoria, congratulate her for being a Jefferson Award finalist in 2016. See you soon.